The world is a mess. Communication seems to be at an all-time low. Open-mindedness and sensitivity to others' feelings are all in short supply. What the world needs is a group of heroes to combat this ignorance. But we're kids. Coming soon. Joy. We're watching clips from a new cartoon series that teaches children about different cultures and countries. The central characters, as you can see, are fun and colorful from all corners of the world, including Iran, Korea, India, and Cuba. Mixed Nuts is the work of a U.S.-based production company called Nodus Productions. Shabnam Rezaei is one of the founders and joins us from New York. Shabnam, good to have you with us. Thanks for having me, Asya. Well, certainly these cartoons are not like the ones we grew up with. Why did you guys want to do this? Well, we started the company three years ago. Uh, we did a small production called Bob Ack and Friends of First No Ruse, which was about the Persian New Year. And in that cartoon, we explored um, what it's like to be Iranian, uh, living in the West, and kind of going through all the turmoils and the conflicts that arise from what, what's going on in the world today. Uh, we had a great response with that film. We sold about 20,000 DVDs. We were able to show it in museums and uh, at Apple stores around the world. And we learned from that experience. Um, it struck a chord with wider audiences, not just Iranians. And so we thought, why don't we help a broader audience? Why don't we help other communities? As a result, we sort of thought about all the different cultures that um, are perhaps misunderstood or are misrepresented in the media. And we came up with three other important ones, including Korea, uh, India, and Cuba, as you mentioned. So we created these characters, Jay from Korea, Sanjay from India, and Damaris from Cuba uh, to join Bobak and to start the new adventures of Mixed Nuts. So what's been the biggest challenge in this process? I would say the biggest challenge has obviously been fundraising. Uh, we are a small company and animation is a very tough industry, tough challenging, a very challenging industry. Uh, the big players obviously are Disney and Nickelodeon, uh, the big players that are out there and there's very little room for smaller productions. So we've had to be very creative with how we get to where we are today. So and what's been the biggest joy, the, perhaps the biggest accomplishment? Uh, the biggest accomplishment has been that uh, we put together a 13 series production in the last year. We've raised over uh, $3 million through private investors and foundations such as the Roshan Cultural Heritage Institute, which has a similar mission and vision as we do, that mission being teach teaching children culture through entertainment. And that's exactly what we're setting out to do here. Uh, we want children at a very early age to care about different cultures, to learn about history, geography, to be engaged with the world and to want to travel uh, in hopes that if they do know more about the world that we will have a more peaceful and understanding society. So it's culture through entertainment but perhaps with a political tone because of the world we live in today. Well, you know, the stories are really everyday stories about the kids. Uh, one of them, for example, is Susan bringing uh, a food to, cla to the classroom that might smell a little bit, uh, or Bobak's grandmother coming to visit and that being embarrassing for him. We're really trying to teach kids about the beautiful side of those cultures, for example, Iranian music, or, um, you know, Korean food, or the richness and heritage of uh, Cuban music that, that is so pr prevalent, um, and perhaps not uh, as well known um, in, in, in the West. And That's perhaps the overall message is regardless of where you're from, where you live, and what kind of food you eat, they're all kids, we're all people. That's exactly the message. We're all the same. Uh, in our first episode, Michael, our redhead, uh, doesn't want to tell people where he's from because he's shy that, uh, you know, the kids will make fun of him because he doesn't have an interesting background. Bobak is afraid to say that he's from Iran because he thinks the kids are going to make fun of him. So the two kids are exactly the same, going through the exact same thing. We're trying to teach kids that at the end of the day, we're all human and that we should be proud of who we are and proud of where we come from. So tell us where this cartoon series, it's in production right now. When do you expect to release it and how can people watch it? 
Well, we're in production right now. We have, uh, because viewing habits have changed uh, over the last few years, as you know, we have a multi-platform distribution strategy that includes getting it on major television stations, hopefully like PBS, CBC in Canada, and BBC in the UK, and around the world. Uh, we also hope to get it on iTunes so that people can download it. We will also have um, downloadable content on our website, including games and short content, which you can put on your iPod or your phone and sort of watch it on the go. Has it been hard to convince regular, ordina ordinary Americans to sort of um, understand what you're doing? In other words, if you're not Iranian, Cuban, or Korean, um, would you find these cartoons interesting? Absolutely, you would find them interesting. Um, I think the biggest audience that we've, we've had has been Americans. I think there's a huge uh, interest on the part of Americans to lear learn more. Unfortunately, current cartoons that are on television haven't taken a big role in doing that. Uh, PBS is a leader in that. They've focused on math and grammar and things like that. But I think geography, history, the importance of languages is something that we need to stress as, as educators. Um, and I think the American audience is going to love this. Very good. Thank you so much, Shabnam Rezaei from Norus Productions. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you for having me.